Okay, so now you have created these beautiful works of art and you want to protect them with something. I once spent three weeks working on a piece and I grabbed the closest spray varnish that I could find at the local art store. I don't even remember what it was at this time. But I was super disappointed because I shook it up, I followed the directions, I tried to spray an even coat on, and the very first spray, all this white stuff shot all over my piece. And I was very upset. Totally ruined. Three weeks of work down the drain. So, I went on a hunt to try to find the best product that I could find that works for me. So, I use Liquitex Professionals. This one is a gloss varnish. They have matte, they have high gloss, they have so many amazing products. This is just one in a huge line. So this is what I'm going to use today to show you the difference that a nice varnish can make on your stone. This one also has a UV protectant in it, which is amazing because that means your colors are not going to fade when you get these great colors on your stones. And then you put them outside, or you put them in a window, or you put them on display, then the colors could fade if you don't protect them. So, this was the heart stone from the tutorial in the last video that we did. And I am going to show these stones come from Lake Erie, these uh, kind of grayish black stones, but they are so phenomenal. Once you put the varnish on, it really makes the colors pop, which is why I did not do a background on this one. This this stone here, you can see the difference. I painted black. Um, it really was not the most beautiful stone, but I like to keep them raw on the back just so you can see what we started off with and you have kind of the natural, still the natural uh, look coming through on the stone. I just kind of like keeping it somewhat natural. <laughs> but that's just my personal preference. Some people paint both sides. So, you can see the black and the paint are totally different but this one once we varnish it it's gonna look super dark and the colors are gonna pop it's great so I use this is a brush on varnish so I use these foam brushes that I get at my local store I don't like to use the bristle brushes to put a brush on varnish on because a lot of times you tend to overwork the varnish or it gets bristle lines and brush marks in it and I'm not a big fan of that so I use the sponge ones which are a lot softer and more delicate and you really don't want to overwork the um, varnish on your stones. So this one sometimes what you can do is I'll take it and I put it in the actual sponge brush or I'll pour it right on the stone which is what I'm going to do with this one because it's nice and flat. So I just pour that right on my stone make sure I get enough that's potentially going to cover it all and the less brush work you do on it, the less lines, the less um, damage you could ultimately do. A lot of people say they don't like to paint varnish on because it's done damage to their work, but if you don't push down hard and you gently just brush over the stone and you don't keep reworking the same spots over and over, then it covers really nice. You can see the colors really pop. It's just awesome. I love it. I'm just going to pick it up here and go around the sides. This one too, I have only ever had to do one coat. You could do more, but I've only ever had to do one, one coat. Totally protected from the sun. My kids have dropped them, picked at them. It doesn't come off. Neither does my paint. I have had some in my garden now for 11 years we've been at this house and we put some out the first year we were there here and they have not faded actually we hit one with a lawnmower <laughs> and it didn't even do any damage it was pretty amazing it just got a little scuffed up and we wiped it off so that is our heart with the Liquitex varnish and I'm gonna do this other big stone here because I gotta protect that one too I figure I might as well show them both and this one is so large, I'm actually going to pour it on as well. Just because I find that easier. And then I don't work it so much. The 
This stone is actually so big. <laughs> big and heavy. And I don't care that it's dripping off. You just catch the drips and it takes a little while to dry officially. I think it's 24 to 48 hours so it's no big deal that it's running off the edge right now because I can just gently go over it with the brush. No harm done. It's not an emergency to hurry up and rush through. And actually this stone, stone is so large I actually need more. I'm just going to squeeze it into my brush here. It's hard to tell when you just have one little picture of these how big the stones really are that I'm working with sometimes. This one's too big for one hand. One thing I will say, I think there is a warning on this one um, for women who are pregnant or trying to get pregnant to wear gloves and not let it get on you. So that's just one thing, but you can always protect yourself with gloves. There. And you can see how shiny it makes the colors pop and your stone is now protected. Sometimes with the sponge brushes you'll get a few bubbles like this. I usually just gently pop them and brush it away. But overall, it's because I push down too hard it starts to get foamy. But overall, it's just amazing, this varnish. And there are other ones that people swear by, and I'm still working on working my way through trying some of them, but I tend to gravitate back to this for pieces that I really want to um, stand the test of time and that I want to keep forever or the ones that I would like to sell in my store. So I hope this was helpful for you and if I find other products in the future I'll definitely put a tutorial up here and review and show you how they go. So I hope you have a great night. It's night for me here. And if you like my video please feel free to like and share it and if you have any comments or if there's something else that you'd like to see in the future please let me know and I will try to get a video of it. Have a great day, night, wherever you are. <laughs>